Hey guys, welcome to the level 2 algebra skills playlist. We're going to be looking at uh, logs here, especially looking at finding the exponent. Now, if you're joining in this video kind of halfway through, just make sure to check the playlist on my channel so you can kind of just keep up with all the work that we've done prior to this so it kind of makes sense. But anyway, let's get started. Now, these questions that I've picked here for this particular video, uh, they are really nice numbers and they're going to work out really nicely. But I'm going to show you guys both uh, three things. I'm going to show you guys the long way. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a calculator as well so that it, things become a lot more easier in the next um, example that we're going to be, well, the next video that we're going to be looking at. All right, so let's get started here. First off, recognize that 2 is the base in this case. We've got power of x and we also have the answer which equals to 32. Now, as I said to you guys, I picked easy numbers here, so we can actually write this as 2 to the power of x is equal to 32. And what we also know is we already know that 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. So we can just rewrite this as 2 to the power of x equals to 5. Uh, therefore, x is equal to 5. Yeah, told you guys, nice easy numbers to work with. However, what we there is another way to actually do this. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that method. Um, as well as then showing you guys how to do it in the calculator. And yes, you can just do this in the calculator straight away. Um, and you're probably wondering, why am I going to show all these other methods then? Trust me, it just becomes useful later on. The calculator, yes, it's good to um, kind of use and just get used to, but you still need to know how to rearrange this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start basically from this line here again. So I'm going to rewrite my equation here as 2 to the power of x equals 32. Now this is what's important and I guess this is why using logs becomes really useful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take logs for both sides, which means I'm going to have log 2 to the power of x equals log of 32. All right. And remember that rule that we had with, um, and I think if you go back a few rules, it's a uh, few videos, it's actually called logarithm rules. And in that one of the rules state that if you have n log a, then you like I think this was the equation that it was I'll just let me see where I can write it I'm gonna write it here so if you had n log of a then this could be written as log a to the power of n so remember that that particular rule that we actually talked about which means I can actually bring x in front of log 2 and by doing that I actually get x log 2 equals log 32 then in my next line I can rearrange uh, I can tell I can treat I almost treat log 2 like a number which means I'm going to get log 32 divided by log 2 and at this point we basically go into our graphics calculator or any calculator just chuck in those values so you're going to get log 32 divided by log 2 which equals to 5 and now you're wondering can't I just have done that right at the beginning? Uh, in fact, you can. And that's what I meant by it. I was going to show, show you guys using three methods here. So first method is this method right here. Because the numbers actually work out really nicely, it's useful. The second method is here. It's a little bit longer, but guess what? You still have to use the calculator at the end. Uh, and the third method, of course, is the calculator. So if we go to question number two, um, what you have is like log base 7 and log 1, right? So you can actually put that in the calculator straight away. So what you do is to calculate that, you just go log 1 divided by log 7. Oh, I got two divides there. Yep. Let's try that again. So log 1 divided by log 7, and it's actually equal to 0. So whenever you see this log base 7 and log 1, you can actually rewrite this as log 1 divided by log 7 and then when we chucked it in the calculator we actually got 0 but let's actually test it out because what we have is we've got 7 as the base x as the power and the answer as 1 which means we're gonna get 7 to the power of x is equal to 1 and if you remember any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so in this case we can just say x is equal to 0. All right, now if you do it the long, uh, the, using it, the second method here, uh, method number two, it's you're still going to end up with the same kind of idea. 
All right, let's have a look at number question number three. What we have is 32 as the base, x as the power, and 2 is our final answer. So we've actually got 32 to the power of x, which equals to 2. Now, this is kind of different, right? I mean, like all this time we've had like 2 to the power of x is 32, but this one is slightly different. Now again, if you're good with your numbers, it's kind of going the opposite way now because 32 is um, 32 is actually two to the power of five. So if we're going to go backwards, we're going to get x as one over five. But let's actually show how we get one over five. Uh, look, we'll do it in the calculator, all right, just to prove that it's actually one over five. So we've got log 32 two, right? So we got log two divided by log 32. There we go. That's point two which is the same thing as 1 over 5. But we've, we're gonna actually going to show you guys how to actually get that 1 over 5. So we've got x. Uh, so we're going to take log of both sides. So it's going to be log 32x equals log of 2. And then bring the x to the front. So we're going to get x log 32 equals log of 2. And then we can say that x is equal to log 2 divided by log 2. 32 and of course x is equal to 0 0.2 as we did in the calculator before or 1 over 5 now watch what happens here how we can get 1 over 5 the other way so if we have 32 to the power of x equals to 2 right now what I can do is I can rewrite 32 as 2 to the power of 5 right because we know that 32 is actually 2 to the power of 5 and this would become 2 to the power of 5 to the power of x equals 2. But remember, on the right-hand side, the power of uh, 2 is actually 1, which means uh, we've actually got 5 times x, which is 5x. So we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 5 times x, which is 5x, equals 2 to the power of 1. Now, you guys can see that both 2s disappear, and what we're left over with is just the powers, because the two powers are equal to each other. See, 5x is equal to 1. And then we can actually say that x is equal to 1 over 5. So that's just another way of doing it without a calculator. But I just wanted to show you guys how we get that 1 fifth with logs. And then without logs as well, you can do it this way. All right. And again, these are this is stuff that you've actually done in level 1. It's just kind of reversing it. That's all. It's just a little bit more, but just using logs. So let's go to question number four. Question number four, what we have is we've got our base here as 100. All right, we've got our power here as x. And this is, and our final answer is actually going to be half. And that's, that's kind of messed up, isn't it? But let's have a look. So we've got 100 to the power of x equals a half. And I just realized that I gave you a really, really horrible question there. Um, sorry, guys, that was not supposed to be a 2. That was supposed to be a 10. Of course, we make these questions on the fly, and sometimes we just make mistakes. But that's all right. Let's fix that. So we're going to get 100 to the power of x equals 1 over 10. Okay, so we've, we already know what the answer is going to be. So let's actually go and check out what the answer in the calculator is. So we're going to put log of 1 over 10 uh, and that's divided by log of 100 so the answer we are looking for x is negative 0 0.5 so i'm actually going to put that down right now all right so this is using the calculator okay so using the calculator i've also already calculated that x equals to negative 0.5 but let's actually look at how would i do this if i was to actually um do it just with basic algebra so we've got 100 to the power of x equals to now remember 10 could be brought to the numerator but when it's brought to the numerator its power changes to negative 1 the reason is because remember 10 has a power of 1 and then when we bring it over to the numerator it's going to become negative 1 now 100 is actually 10 squared so I'm gonna put 100 as 10 squared and then this is going to this is going to be 10 squared to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. Now what I could do is I could actually go 2 times x and I'm going to get 
10 to the power of 2x is equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. And at this rate, you guys should be able to see that the powers are equal to each other because we have two bases that are the same. So get rid of them. And what you end up with is 2x is equal to negative 1. And then x is equal to negative 1 divided by 2. And what you should see is that this is the same as what we actually got earlier in the graphics calculator answer, which is x is equal to negative 0.5. Okay, I do apologize for the long video guys, but it's just there's a lot of different methods that we could have actually done um, these questions in and I just wanted to show you guys a lot of different methods. Ultimately, you know, you can just use your calculator to solve it, but the algebra part of it will definitely help you with some of the more um, questions that we end up doing later on in this topic, uh, particularly the last few methods that I showed you where we're changing the basis uh, and then adjusting the powers definitely comes in handy later on at the um, as we go through this topic. Okay, that's basically it for this video here. As always guys, uh, drop a like for this video and share the video. And of course, uh, subscribe to keep up to date with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out, a lot of revision material there, skills, work examples from exams. That's it, thank you for watching.